Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with another video on Lemonade Stock. I know I have posted a lot of videos about the stocks, which I will be linking down below in the description if you would like to watch them today. But today I will talk about what has happened with the stock since my last video and the company since that video was like about two months or so ago. And as Lemonade is one of my favorite stock, it's one that I follow a lot. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing and smashing that like button since it really helps the channel out. Also, I have a completely free Discord group chat with only for that is down in the description below. To start, the stock went up over 227% since the last video on December 12th, even though it has dropped over 22% since January 11, the stock is still up 154.71% since my last video and I think that is massive for such a company. To start, the stock went up that much for several reasons. First, because of their third quarter earnings in which in summary, they announced that their in-force premium grew 99%, year over year, 19% increase in their premium per customer, 67% increase in total customers, and 104% in their gross earned premium. As you may know, Lumine is not like all the other insurance companies. Another thing that differentiates them than their AI technology is their expansion. When I started investing in them, they were available in less places than today. They are in almost every state in the US, accepting like 12 of them and are already in some parts in Europe like Germany and the Netherlands. Well, in December, they announced they were launching their services in France and in my opinion that is excellent since it shows their desire to expand even more globally, which could be very, very beneficial for the company. Then by the end of the year, on December 31st, they announced they ended the year with over 1 million active users. As the CEO said, we are proud to hit the 1 million customer mark so early in the lifetime of the company. With every new customer, our system grows smarter, our underwriting gets better, and our prices become more accurate and fair. Eliminate 1 million customers translate into billions of data points, which feed our AI at an ever-growing speed. Quantity generates quality. And why did he say they achieved this milestone early, you may ask? Well, basically because it took them 4.25 years, while it took State Farms 22 years, Geico 28 years and more. So yes, I think it is impressive because it shows the fast growth of the company and how people are willing to change to a much easier and beneficial insurance faster. Also, the Motley Fool picked Lemonade as their number one pick for 2021 and the stock went up massively after that. Very crazy because every time the Motley Fool releases a stock pick, the stock skyrockets. They have over a half million members that pay for their stock pick advisor service and every time they release a stock pick the stock starts going up as they start investing more and more money in it. Later on, on January 11, Limited announced its proposed public offering of common stock. It intends to offer 3.3 million shares of its common stock for sale. After that, the stock dropped over 5% that same day, mainly because they were offering those shares at a price of $165 per share, and the stock closed between $170 and $180 that day. Also, because the offering was bigger than expected, meaning that they were delivering way more their shares than what was expected. Someone asked me in the Discord group chat what I thought about this. And to be honest, obviously no one likes to see their shares getting diluted in a company. That is normal, but we have to take into consideration that Lemonade is not a normal old company that we are investing on. Lemonade is a very young company that is still a babe in baby steps, but with massive growth. And the only way to sustain and continue with that growth is with more money and them diluting their shares at $165 per share is not that bad since they are taking advantage of the high price of the stock. I would get worried if they do that when the stock is at $30 to $40 per share, but $165, I think they need to do so as Tesla and other growth companies have done it be before to be able to increase their capital and continue investing in the company, their research and innovation. And then this happened. Citroen Research tweeted, Citroen acknowledges tough years for sure, but this limited is something special. Join our first live blah blah this goes right back to a hundred dollars and obviously when you watch the live stream you know people will get worried when they start saying 
that they would only bring a short at this moment if it is actionable and it has to be called out and they only do this through Twitter with something that is not even allowed to say on television. I mean, obviously that sounds really scary, but well, they basically said on that, on that live stream that first, Lemonade is lying to their shareholders since according to them, Lemonade is not what it seems to be, that their AI technology is just like any other insurance technology since any other insurance company has a chat box. And they're all able to write insurance online. Then they talked about how, how they called Lemonade socially irresponsible since they sold millions of dollars in stock and only donated one million dollars. And that you should buy companies like McDonald's instead if you want to buy a company that is doing good socially speaking. But what do I think about this? Okay, first of all, I'm not gonna lie and say that Lemonade is undervalued because you guys know I'm honest and it has a rich valuation. The run up has been impressive and their growth as well, but we are talking about a company that has an $8 billion market cap, which was higher before and has an expected revenue of less than $100 million. I have not sold any of my Lemonade stocks. I'm not planning to do so and I'm actually going to look into add more to my position if it continues dropping. But the question is, what do I think about Citroen research? First of all, those allegations were very serious. Lemonade is doing something different within the industry and obviously they are going to get criticized since their goal is to disrupt a very old, strong and millionaire industry. And then the allegations about their donations, that Lemonade is not donating more money and the, you should buy McDonald's instead. What does this have to do with this? They are simply saying, don't buy this stock. They don't actually donate that much money to charity. Come on, really? I'm not even going to talk about that because they're just saying that they are not donating enough money. Again, I'm not gonna lie, the stock has a rich valuation, the run up, and obviously Citroen is making money if they shorted it before that live stream after starting with very scary comments. And yes, the stock might get to $100 or even $85 as analysts say, but I just don't agree with everything he said and that's all. Then in another interview I found on YouTube to the that was made to the Lemonade CEO, I found this comment that said, I work for a large insurance company Company. We are seeing this roll out and we are working really hard to change and transform and modernize our processes. But it is hard, it costs a lot of money and we are way behind those new younger companies in terms of technology. Meaning that other insurance companies are already seeing the difference in technology that Lemonade provides or that Lemonade is offering to their customers and are starting to invest more money to have kind of the same technology. But as, they, as he said, this costs a lot of money and takes a lot of time. So in my opinion, Lemonade has a different technology in comparison to other insurance companies. Lemonade is a tech company that collects billions of data points from their clients and has an incredible AI technology that is improving more and more with time. Another thing that differentiates them from others is that they donate up to 40% of unclaimed premium, which shows that they are not trying to make money or get profitable out of not paying you like any other insurance company does. They are expanding globally and really fast. I do believe in the company but it is always good to continue researching about them. I do have to say that short sellers are not always right. We have seen how Tesla was the most shorter stock in, of the year. Time ago they would short Apple, Peloton and even Citroen have shorted Neo before so I would not take any decisions on what analysts or short sellers or anyone said. I would recommend you do your own research about this company and make your and make your own decisions. One of the things that I like the most about Lemonade is that they are targeting us Gen Z and millennials to use their service and grow with them while they grow with us. But let me show you guys a one minute video of interview Jim Cramer did to the CEO, to Lemonade CEO, about two months ago and they explain it way better. And I have to believe someone who starts as a renter uh, in a one bedroom might move now to the suburbs, as we're seeing when we're talking to Rocket Mortgage, uh, and then takes a new policy. Maybe they buy, then they get a pet, and they take the pet policy. Then they realize they're about to have children, and then they take the term policy. So the, the runway is pretty clear here. And let me tell you what that translates to in terms of numbers, because it will blow your mind. 
usually when we think about um, subscription-based businesses, think Spotify, Netflix, an upsell might be 10%, 20%. That life cycle I just described, somebody will start with $150 policy on average. Then when they add, when they go to the suburbs, we, we just reported this um, quarter that although our business doubled, the number of people going through the process that you just described, graduating from renting to home, has grew 300%. So it's outpacing our growth at large. And each of those customers sex doubled their oh, premium. So they went from amazing. 150 to 900. You lay on top of that pet, you lay on top of that life, mm -hmm. you're talking about something like a 1600% increase in premium. Well, so that, absolutely with no cost. So it's a big deal. That is rather remarkable. So, so yes, I do believe in the company. I do still own my stock. Limited represents 10% of my portfolio since it has gone up a lot. I'm up 155% in my position, which got over 200% at one point and have a nice average cost, which it might increase when I add more to my position if it drops below $100 per share. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash that like button and subscribe since it really, really helps the channel out. Thank you and see you next time.